big and little smoothies. We're doing strawberry protein shake. So Tommy's having one scoop. Yep. I will have two. Yum. Coconut milk. Right, yours will need a bit of, they'll both need a bit of water. Put that back in. And we're going to blend the matching shakes. Right, do yours first. Oh, I hate the stick. Down the greens. Off we go. Let's go. To Devon. Woo! <laughs> At the beautiful Nakuku on the way to Devon. And I've just randomly suddenly spent 300 odd quid on a chair, which is perfect. And we're trying to figure out how to fit it in the boot. Nad's swimming in the pool. You having fun, Tommy? <laughs> oh, this hotel is just the same. You've got to turn it on. Just the same as it has been. Do you want to be in the floor? <laughs> Who says you can't have a decent summer holiday in England? <laughs> okay, so we've spent a couple of hours by the pool and stuff, and I'm just Thomas has gone down to play pool or something, and I'm just gonna have a shower. I've got cleanser in my face because I forgot to take my makeup off, so I've been swimming with makeup on. But I have to show you quickly before I tell you the story of this hotel, which I'm gonna do whilst I get ready. I have to show you this swimming costume because. This year, I don't, I've never really bought Zara swim before, but they seem to have nailed their swimwear and to the point where also it's honestly the comfiest pieces I've had in years. Um, and I just think this like is such a flattering little swimming costume and it's completely like backless. I've got sunburn and a crisscross shape. Um, I love it, I had to share this because I just think it's gorgeous and I'd also wear this with just some denim shorts which I might do tomorrow when it dries so love this so yeah I'm just going to have a shower and we're going to have fish and chips on the beach tonight um, but I need to wash the chlorine out of my hair because I think today might be the first time in maybe 10 years that I've like continuously jumped in a swimming pool and played with Thomas, it's just been hilarious. Um, so yeah, I need to wash this all out of my hair and get ready. Off we go to breakfast. How did you sleep, Tommy Bear? Good. Good? Yeah. I literally woke you up about five minutes ago. Yeah. And we're gonna go and have some breakfast before we decide what we're gonna do today. I've got these are a dress of the season on. I'm quite hungry actually. I look knackered because I've got no makeup on. <laughs> um, Hello. Breakfast buffeting. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. No one's here because we're always late. <laughs> yeah, I like it though. Thanks, Tom. Come again to pool later. Hotel breakfast. You know you want to be in it, Kerry. Smile. No, no. Buddy, you're pooling. I don't know how I'm going to hit the wreck. Go on, Tommy. Yes! Fit it. Escaped! No kids, woohoo! 
we've left the boys at the hotel to go and get a decent coffee and have a look in the shops. And look in the shops without someone going, are we done yet? Are we done no, yet? What time is it? I want to go back go home. Yeah, oh, is, it, is there more food? Is there a drink? Oh. <laughs> Little no, moaners. No. Yeah. Girls, oh, it's so pretty. This is my favourite drive through all the hills of Dart. Well, it's not Dartmouth, it's State Flatway. say that again what? only just... Abby only Abby could come to Dartmouth and buy a chair and some pampas it's not normal and it's like people person length pampas as <laughs> yeah. well look at that in the back yeah it's not even just short so we've got a new chair got pampas got a lantern got birthday cards for got people birth... for... I got 24 birthday cards to keep people going for the next two years <laughs> and some sun cream what else have I got I got some, a candle. A candle. It's just not normal, is it? No, it's definitely not. You are not normal. Oh, can we see the sea? It's going. It's going. 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 It's going. Going. Oh, it's such Go a on. nice drive. So this is the road that takes you. So we're staying in Stoke Fleming, which is like 10 minutes from Dartmouth. And then Stoke Fleming is the next is by Blackpool Sands. Is it the town for Blackpool, the village for Blackpool Sands? Yeah, the village Sands? before Blackpool Sands. Um, Blackpool. So this road takes you all the way down to Blackpool Sands. So pretty. All ready for night two slash last night of our very, very mini break. And I've actually had a two pink dress day today. I had the Zara one on this morning and then I've just put this in the star one on for dinner with my Burke. Um, we're going for Mexican food tonight um, at one of my favourite restaurants. So, yes, I feel like I've like hardly vlogged at all, but I'm not even joking today. After the shops, we got back and all we did was jump about in the pool and like literally play like, like handball football in the pool and like jumping in and the whole shebang um, to the point where... I came upstairs before having a shower and was like, oh my God, I need a little nap because it's been a while since I did that. So yeah, we've had some proper quality family time. Oh, who can I hear? Um, and I just got ready for dinner. So I think the boys are already downstairs. So I'm gonna go and have some nice food. And then, yeah, I'll show you the restaurant a little bit um, and catch up with you later. In beautiful Dartmouth, our last day. We're gonna go on a boat. The boys have escaped over there. Look how pretty it is. I think there's a mini cruise ship as well. Look at this view. We had breakfast at Blackpool Sands and now we're going on a boat here. So beautiful. So if you, so the castle is over there, so basically you can get, if you've not done this before, you can get a little boat from here, Dartmouth um, Harbour, and then it takes you along to the castle and you can just come back again for a little trip. Say hi. Do you enjoy your breakfast? I'm tired. I think I've literally worn pink the whole time we've been here. Pink, pink, pink. Steam trains coming in along the front. One of the funnest things to do in Dartmouth is the steam train to Paynton. It's um, so, so cool. You literally get on the ferry over there. The station's there behind that boat. And then you go all the way along for a couple of hours. On the boat. So pretty. What a view. It's okay. Look at that. Walking up to the castle. Peggy's dying from the steps. Give me in it. Smile. Hi. Oh, they've gone. It's quite a steep walk up. So here you can do, what can you do around? You can do a huge coastal path walk, can't you? 
Yeah. Which we've never done, we just come for coffee and go back again. <laughs> you see the scenery, you see the coffee. One day we might. I get my walking boots on. Not in 30 degrees. We're not in 30 degrees. You've got to see this view in a second. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. They got what? What they are? <laughs> oh my goodness. I hate to break it to you, I think there's a couple of parking spaces. <laughs> Look at that. Should we go in the castle? I wonder if we can get married here, it's amazing. We always used to come and sit up there and have coffee in the morning. So beautiful. Oh my god, look at those cake. Oh my god, We're having Santa lemon. Coastal path down to. It's not even a beach, is it? What is it? A coast? <laughs> Should we do it? We will have to walk back up. Shit, you know. Let's go. We were going to go in the castle, but we've not really got long enough. And it's really expensive. <laughs> we'd, we'd rather buy coffee. <laughs> if then, yeah, if they're not bothered, we're not bothered. Oh, I don't like this. You in the castle before I have. No. I bet you have when you were younger. Maybe. Mm. Oh, I nearly spilt that. Mm. Yummy. Good. The cuckoo coffee shop. Oh my god. Yummy. Oh my god, prepare to be entertained. We've got the pamper and we've got the chair in. Albeit the boys are completely squashed in the car, but... Forget the children, it's all about the furniture. <laughs> the flat's going to look amazing. Yeah, forget, forget their welfare. <laughs> They've got seatbelts on. They'll be fine. They're you alright? Do you want a bunch? You all good? <laughs> yeah. Right. Off we go. That saved a three hour round trip. Are we all going to get it? <laughs> Kiddo requested salad. That's what he's got. Yummy. Back home. Oh, look at the chair. So nice. Right, so I am going to quickly explain what the glow challenge is um, and the new skincare and do my little night routine with you. If you have no interest in skincare, you will definitely want to skip over this. Um, if you do, you probably love it. So, I must be on like day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I must be on like day seven-ish um, of the Glow Challenge, and this is just a little challenge that I set myself. Um, basically, I had a really bad reaction with my skin. We had some new skincare release from Arbon, which is a three-step glow, um, but it's actually four steps. Um, and I thought, you know what, to get my skin back and also to really trial the products um, for 30 days, I'm literally going to completely just use those um, and put them to the test. Um, so yeah, so the new range is called Derm Result. There is a little reel of it on my Instagram. Um, it's a four step routine, however, basically three steps I do twice a day and then the fourth step I only do in the morning so I will show you that in the morning um, so I so far have just used an album wipe um, to take off like the base of my makeup so I'm just going to do a first cleanse with I still use Calm because I stopped bought this before it went out of um, before it got discontinued um, it's like a gel based cleanser so I always use this as my first one um, obviously we don't sell this anymore because it got discontinued about a year ago now. Um, so the alternative is the new Hydrate Me um, for a gel based cleanser or 
um, Clear Future. Clear Future is technically um, for acne prone skin. Amazing results if you suffer with acne with the Clear Future range. Um, but I actually do sometimes if I've not got calm. Um, Abby actually uses Clear Future, so I will use hers if I ever stay over there, etc. Um, just because I like the like soapy effect for my first my first cleanse. Um, so I'll just wash this off. First one done. Second cleanse, I'm going to use the new Derm Results. So Derm Results is literally like scientific breakthrough. Smoothing Glow Cleanser and basically Derm Results is all about results driven skincare. So it's got loads and loads of amazing things like vitamin C etc. Um, but it's basically the line that you're going to want to use if you just want the ultimate flawless dewy glowy skin um, and you don't have any like major like skin concerns like obviously if you've got acne you'd use clear future if you've got really dehydrated skin you'd use hydrate me but this is for anyone with probably more normal skin i'd say like mine um who just wants amazing results so i literally use like a pea size amount of this pearlescent you really can't see that can you pearlescent cleanser i'm just going to pop that all over my face and then wash it off little trick if you have got time I like to put this on and then leave it for about five ten minutes just as a mask um, but obviously you don't have to you can wash it off straight away we don't have a toner in this new um, range so I'm gonna use my brighten up toner absolutely love this product it's got niacinamide in it and um hyaluronic acid so this is all about the glow um so i literally just do two spritzes and that got into my skin right the next step this is probably what i would call like the holy grail of skincare and something that i think a lot of brands are gonna start to release um, and I've been using this for about so this single product has actually been out for about a year now and I honestly think it is the best thing I've ever used so it's called the Derm Results Illuminating Skin Therapy Concentrate so it's not a serum it's not a toner it's not a cream it's a concentrate and the reason for that is that it's got the highest level of vit like pure vitamin C, natural vitamin C, um, in a single product than any other skincare treatment. It's also got Bacuccio, which is the vegan alternative to retinol, which I can use on my skin. I can't use retinol, but I can use this. Um, and then it's got 1% fer ferulic acid, which again is all about bright. And this honestly is a game changer if you want flawless, glowy, bright skin. Um, so obviously I use it in line with the other products, um, but it is just the ultimate, ultimate treatment. Um, so it literally is a concentrate, it's really like water texture. Um, and I literally just put a couple of drops in my hand and I just go like that. You really don't need very much at all. I know a lot of the girls like literally put straight on their skin. Um, I just like to do it on my hand. I just feel like it's even distribution, but you do you. Okay, so I've just gone on the PDF. Um, so the cleanser is for all skin types um, to promote radiance, uneven skin tone, for radiance, uneven skin tone and dull skin. Um, so it contains sustainable orange stem cell extract. Um, brown algae extract and I oh know that's the two main ones um, so again it's all about the vitamin C basically um, so when you go on the album website they actually have something called a meet the product sheet for every single product that we do and on that it looks like this and you've literally got all the information um, so yeah I love reading about the ingredients. Oh, it's got cucumber extract in it, red clover and watercress. Yeah, it's really, really, really like fresh. Um, so it contains stabilised vitamin C, 
um, to help improve skin clarity and overall skin health. Um, so yeah, coming back to the vitamin C again. Okay, and then, so next I'm going to use, and the last step is the Derm Results Cream. Um, this is something you can use morning and night. I actually just use it in the evening. Um, so it's a glow cream with vitamin C. I love this packaging. Um, and I, I'm gonna read this out because I want to get this right. So stabilize, stabilize vitamin C again um, to promote radiance. Niacinamide, um, a form of vitamin B3, which is the same ingredient as in the toner, um, to support skin's moisture barrier and hydration. Um, and then it's also got vitamin E in this cream to support collagen. So obviously collagen, naturally found in the skin, depletes from the environment and everything. So you want to basically boost your collagen. I actually take a vegan collagen supplement every day, but it doesn't hurt also having it in your skincare. So this is a really dreamy cream, super thick, um, like my idea of heaven. Literally like amazing. Um, so yeah, I just use a little bit of that and pop that all over my skin um, and I have to say already I have done some before photos so the day the first day of doing this challenge I took some photos so I am very excited to see the difference between them so yeah that is my night oh one last thing a little bit of eye cream I don't use a lot um, I use the brightening range again for this and I just use a tiny amount up um, just because, to be honest, I don't really need it. Uh, take it over the lips as well, because they're a sensitive skin area. And done. Ready for bed. Are you happy that Mama's home? Party's favourite place is in the bath. Isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's nice to be home. I love going away, but I also love being home with my babies, so... I'm gonna get some rest now, I've got a bit of work to do, um, before a busy day tomorrow. Are you still awake? Are you still awake? I'd be an awful parent at the moment. I literally think I'd be so bad at putting them to bed. He could still be awake at one and I wouldn't even know. Right, see you in a bit. Ooh, what a loud morning. Okay, so, I'm like, Two minutes away from Sarah's. I've got a quick nail appointment this morning before a fun filled day with Thomas. Um, and Sarah actually only lives like <laughs> two minutes away from me. And I still drive all the time. Right, I need to cross this busy road. Over that. Yes, so she lives two minutes away and I still manage to drive nearly every time I go, um, which is ridiculous. So this morning I've dedicated a further 120 seconds to walking. I can't even see, I don't know if you can see me. Um, but I've literally got like, thrown my gym clothes on, put loads of skincare on, because I just feel like my skin is so dry. I think from like, all the air con and stuff in the car. Got my iPads on, obviously. Don't know if you can see this. So yes, um, just going here now and these iPads actually everyone laughs at me for wearing them out but I swear to god like when you go out in the fresh air with them on it like activates them um so yeah I really recommend that so oh someone there um I've just realized that I'm lost I think I've walked down the wrong road Jesus Christ only I could get lost walking two minutes away anyway so Yes, nails, fun filled day with Thomas, we're going to Ikea and stuff, which means that I'm probably just going to keep my gym clothes on, and then carry on, I've also got my hot lemon, I feel like even though I'm still technically having like a bit of a week off, my body's like, you need some healthy stuff, so we're going to have protein shakes when I get home as well. Look at my new nails, pink, do you like them? Yeah? She always does the best. Best nails. There it is. <laughs> Show everyone your new haircut then. <laughs> oh, we got a bit of skin fading going on. Don't tell mum that I let you do that. She's gonna be mad at me. Am I not a good cameraman? 
<laughs> oh, we need to put the roof up. Do you want to show everyone what we do? How do I show everyone? Are you going to cut all of this out? Yeah. Right, we have got your hair cut and now we're going to go look around the shops and inevitably I'm going to be buying stuff for your birthday, aren't I? Pretty much. No, what about the PhD taxi? Yeah? Well, you can have whatever you want. But the thing I said I need you. to do some Zara returns. The thing I said you, that's Zara returns, JD. And we need some lunch, I'm so hungry. Ooh. Ooh. Who do you reckon's stronger? Me. Should we do an arm wrestle later? Yeah. Hi, we are in Frankie and Benny's. Um, how do I turn the camera on? Oh, I just did it. Here's Abby. Here's the Cokes. And this is definitely not going to be in the video, but hello. What we got? Chicken. With ketchup, and he doesn't like the hot sauce. They are way better. This is Frankie and Benny's. They're way better than the McDonald's chicken slats. Mmm. And he's on to carbonara. And I've got halloumi wrap. Mmm. Yummy. Who else just picks up random shit in Ikea? Right, little one? Done our IKEA trip, our Sports Direct trip. Now we've got to go to Asda. Well, we had a successful Cabot trip and a successful IKEA trip, but not a successful Asda trip. Because Tommy couldn't get his prime drink from that famous YouTuber guy. Is he a YouTuber guy? KSI and Logan Paul. KSI. I thought they hated each other. Not anymore. So he's all sad now, but we're gonna find some before you go home. I'm gonna put a message on my Insta and see if anyone knows. Right, let's phone. Okay, so. This has to go in the vlog because this is like the whole reason why I started the vlog. Um, it's like half two in the morning and I have been working up until about ten minutes ago, hence why I look like this. Um, and yes, so I've basically been doing stuff that I need to get ready for tomorrow um, for Abby to basically be able to do her job. Um, and it was actually double the amount that I've had to do because she's away the week after. Um, and yes, yeah, so I, I started this evening and I literally have finished at like quarter past two. Well, I've not even finished. I've got to get up a bit earlier tomorrow and finish the last little bit. Um, but like this, I think, is so important to share because obviously the whole idea of why I want to do this is to show what actually goes in to like the business and the behind the scenes of it like obviously all people really generally see is like the glamour side and what you choose to put on social media etc etc um but i don't think like this side really gets shown enough um and obviously this is a classic example like people say to me oh like do you, like how often do you take time off like holidays etc etc obviously this week in, my intention was for it to be a holiday week um, so I could spend time with Thomas and go away etc etc um, and to be honest the whole time I was away I had an amazing time but I was a little bit stressed because in the back of my head I knew that I had um, all this work to do and then obviously tonight again like today and tomorrow like my priority is spending time with him um, and having that like quality time that we don't really get to have very much but obviously the sacrifice I've had to make is that all evening and up until like the middle of the night I've 
been working and catching up and like this is just the reality of having a business and self-employed life and you know just the way it is like I think so often it looks like I don't really work and I don't really like have I don't know like it just doesn't really get shown does it but you know the truth is that I actually work really hard I just work like very different timings and in an ideal world like I wouldn't be doing this like I, tr I try really hard not to work late nights um because I find that my health really suffers when I do it too much but sometimes like it's just can't be escaped so yes I think that's important to say like in the midst of all this like fun stuff going on this week that you know the reality of having a business is this um so yeah hope he doesn't hear me, he shouldn't hear me, um, yeah, I have however, yeah, I stopped about 10 minutes ago, and I've still managed to do my skincare as well, so, no excuses peeps, get your skincare done, um, so I think I'm going to have to listen to some chilled out music for a minute, fall asleep, and then get up in like, three hours, maybe four, um, before we head out tomorrow, um, we've actually got plans tomorrow, so I've got to get out and wash my hair, so, yeah, I will sign off now, but just thought that was an important little snippet to include for real life. Night, guys. You better believe that I have given myself a good three minutes with these on this morning. Wow. Oh, I woke up and I just, like, felt this is why I can't do it anymore, I can't hack it. It throws me off all the next day. I also cannot be bothered to wash my hair or really put makeup on in this weather. Because it just melts off completely. Oh, I need some Botox. Today we are going to let's put you there a bit. We are going to Clark's Village for I don't remember what for actually. You ready, sweetheart? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, white shorts are better for the weather. Yeah. I know. I'm late. Always late, Thomas. Always late. The good thing is everyone knows that. I've got two kisses. Yeah. I can't say I particularly need it though. Oh, that's true. Bare minimum makeup. No, we do. I don't want to hear too much. Looks like to go to Clark's Village. Yeah. Sports Direct. Discounted Sports Direct. Wait, it's already discounted. It can't be any more discounted. How is it discounted? Well, everything in Sports Direct is already like a discount, really. What? Isn't it like an outlet thing? Mm -hmm. I'm Look sure it the, is. Look at the trim. Look at the what? Trim. Look at that fresh cut. <laughs> right, I need to put my hair up. Right, aren't we lucky to have grandparents who live in such a pretty place? Hey? <laughs> Look how pretty it is here. Half an hour late, no biggie. She'll get over it. Absolutely love it here. This is Wedmore in Somerset. Um, they actually live like five minutes away, but it's so beautiful. We are driving through, what's it called? Summer, the Somerset, Somerset Levels. levels. I feel like we're on holiday. Just saw a swan in the field. It's in that one. Grandmother's driving. <laughs> Not sure how we feel about that, do we, Thomas? Yeah. Questionable. <laughs> Look how pretty this is. It's very pretty. Little scenic route to Clark's village. <laughs> Introducing grandmother. 
It's a gourmet burger kitchen. Yay. What are you going to have? The uh, classic chicken. Oh, yummy. It's too hot for her. It's mine. <laughs> Does this all give you She's a got a shake. Yummy. What have we gone for? Vanilla. Yum. It's scary seeing that. We got wine. Huh? It's scary seeing that photo. Probably. That's what you want. Oh my god. You've got naked, Granny. Hardly. <laughs> Chicken for Tommy. Oh my god. Yummy. Mm. Say that again. What? Did you text her? No. I just. Oh my god. I accidentally ordered a giant ice cream just for Kai. It's like Ben and Jerry's size. Do you like it? <laughs> and I got a shake. Oh my god, that is so funny. It's massive. Too big for you, Brian? Much too big. I can't handle it. <laughs> More positions. <laughs> oh. She is the granny who likes to know everything about everyone else, but doesn't like knowing that people know about her. We got some. That's massive. <laughs> cool. Yummy. That's a big. Okay, right. I hate to complain, but it is crazy hot. Like crazy, 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 crazy to the point where I actually cancelled our plans today because I was just like, we can't do it. Um, so yesterday we came home after being out and just like died basically on the sofa and oh my god watching the people turn up to work in the restaurant honestly hats off to you who works in hospitality um, yeah we basically just died and then today we were meant to go to the balloon fiesta and I was just like I, I actually don't think it's like wise a decision um, so we've stayed home and chilled, Tommy's watching football and I've just done some work and stuff um, and I need to run to the shop so I've just put on like the most casual outfit ever. I feel like I should be in like Spain or something, I've even got like flip flops on because I cannot deal with anything. Um, yeah, so I've just got to run out and get a few bits and then come home and die again. But this is mental absolutely mental and I think if this like carries on I'm gonna have to get an aircon unit in here as well because it's just so so hot so yeah that's how Saturday has been going for us should we put this in the vlog <laughs> they're getting thrashed Tommy you might have to change which team you support <laughs> oh right when I was walking around Waitrose, I had a craving for a porn star martini. So I bought the one thing I didn't have. No, a few things I didn't have, and I'm going to make some. Obviously just for me, not for Thomas. Um, he could probably do with one, though, because his football team's being smashed currently. And if I were him, I would need a drink. So I also got in Dartmouth these cute new gin glasses. Um, obviously, I know porn star martinis are meant to go in martini glasses, which I have, but I want to try these. So, I'm going to get these at the box as well um, and make myself a little summer drink. Right? I'm also not convinced they're the ones I saw on the display. They look more like wine glasses. Um, Oh well. Right, I totally also wing this. I literally do nine ice cubes ish. I do a shot of vanilla vodka, a shot of passoir, some light for some fresh lime juice, and then I'm using today the passion fruit punch juice thing. But there's loads of different ones of these that you can obviously use. Right, two vodka. 
vanilla vodka, one papua, Oh, my bloody camera died yesterday and I've just charged it back up. Sunday fun day, even though Sunday's nearly over. And I have realised that when you start making these, you then can't stop. Thomas liked it too, didn't you, last night? Do you have that fruit? Yeah, it's a passion fruit martini. It was fun. We have been chilling all day at our grandmother's house. I was just watching football. And now we're gonna chill out and we're gonna watch the Mrs. Brown's boys film and have some dinner. And then back to work tomorrow, which is gonna be an interesting week because you weren't meant to be here this week originally. That's not my fault, is it? Whose fault is it? I know it's not your fault, but it's just gonna be interesting trying to get back to work and look after you. You're not going to work, you're going to the gym. I'm going to work. Go to the gym. Yeah, but the whole idea is that I'm meant to go to the gym first and then go to work, but I now can't do that. Why? What are you going to do? I said I'll come to the gym with you. We're going to make it work. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog because it's probably really bloody long. We've had a fun week. And the next one is going to be back to reality, back to work. Do you want to do your thing where you tell everyone what to do? Okay. Come on. You can do it. Ready? Remember to like and subscribe, turn the notifications on so you're notified every time we make a video. Catch you guys later. Peace! Cheers. Bye everyone!